After fielding some snipers in my Krieg infantry units, they did really well. That occasional six to ignore lookout, sir, was rather awesome. So let's try out the best of the best when it comes to sharpshooting, the Vindicare Assassin. A glance around online and I found these two free files that looked really nice. I like the simplicity. These guys wear a stealth suit, have a spy mask, and have a big ass rifle and pistol. No need for decorations, no flair, just the basics. I liked the female one for lodging into the corner of a ruin or building to keep them out of sight, and the male for placing beneath windows or broken walls and other less towering terrain. So the prints came out great, and off they go to the boot box for a layer of Citadel Chaos Black Primer. I pondered a translucent resin to print these and have them all predator-like and see-through, just a visual distortion, but that's a lot of money for two figures. I guess I could use it for Tyranid Lictors and Death Leapers, but I don't know, maybe another time. Okay, a base of Abaddon Black all over the models, and then a dry brush of Thunderhawk Blue to catch all of the edges, the belts, the pouches, the curves of the muscles, and the mask, just to make them kind of merge into the colour scheme of my Krieg Regiment. Plus, in all the artwork, they are basically black and blue anyways. Anywho, then a lighter touch of Dawnstone to the same areas. Dab it into the pot, wipe off, and then a few swipes on the back of my hand or thumb to get it in perfect dry brush condition. And then, breaking out the iron hand steel to dry brush and touch up the weapons. And then onto the bases. A spread of Elmers over the whole thing, wipe it around with an old brush, and then sprinkle on the red rock sand. The female I glued into place first because of the pillar, and the male I'm going to add after the sand has dried, and this dude I'm adding a rock from my small weld slate and stone quarter inch bag for him to be propped up on. Once they are in position, a dry brush of Cadian flesh tone to simulate the dust, for the male, the dustiness from laying in the dirt, and for the female, the pillar having been buffeted by sandstorm. And then, back to the boot box for a spray of varnish from all directions. And here we have a couple of Vindicare assassins. These guys have already seen action in the most spectacular fashion. In their first deployment against the Weld Eaters, Angron was demolished by the sustained fire of three Lehman Russ battle tanks, but re-manifested and charged my Vindicare. What the hell, I'll overwatch. And I got a six, which meant more damage, and then a slew of mortal wounds basically one-shotted the Demon Primarch mid-stride. So, here they are. Two operatives from the Vindicare Temple of the Officio Assassinorium, their motto is the outcome justifies the deed, and they are expert snipers armed with an Exodus rifle and pistol, each weapon containing sophisticated and murderous machine spirits, and they fire heavy gravity alloy rounds that can punch through almost any armour, their Vindicare stealth suits are customised just for them and laced with Camellio line to make them near invisible and protect from hazardous atmospheres. Their spy mask provides a rebreather and nourishment in the form of food and water concentrates and bequeaths a deluge of intricate tactical information that can only be processed thanks to the agent's mental augmentics. Patient, silent and lethal, the Vindicare will wait for days, even weeks, in concealment, waiting for the perfect moment to slay their assigned target with a single, perfectly placed shot.